warning, some viewers may find this content disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Creatures of the night, yes, you have returned to the Fox Den for another episode of Midnight Lycanthropy on Star Fox Radio. Yet, as usual, I am so hungry and I must step out for a second before we do head up to Illinois. Ah, <laughs> so much better. It is now time for us to venture to help a friend in need in an area of Illinois that potentially has some darkness surrounding it. I live in Western Illinois. In June of this year, I rented a small home out in the country where there was all kinds of corn fields around the property. Recently, the corn has been harvested. From my backyard, there's an open field now. And a few feet from this open field is a big dirt mound. It almost looks like a small island. Um, it's got all kinds of bushes and trees and stuff. And I haven't really thought much of it, but Last week I was outside and I happened to look that way and I seen a black object laying up against this mound. And I'm thinking, well, it's probably just a trash bag or something that's blown up against this mound. My curiosity got the better of me. The other day I noticed it was still there, but it was in a different position. So I took out my camera with my zoom lens and I took several pictures. After I viewed the picture, I realized this wasn't trash. This a figure had ears. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it's a cat. And I took a lot more pictures. And what I have captured is unbelievable. At first, I thought it was a pack of wild dogs. But the more I looked at it, I realized they were all black. It wasn't adding up. So about two nights ago, October 9th, my dog, I have him on a 10-foot lead since we live out here. I live out here in the country. And he's a good-sized dog. Went to check on him. And as I was getting him in, I heard this moaning. It was coming from the other side of my garage, which doesn't have security lights and where my car's parked. First, I just ignored it. But then as I go to grab his collar to get him in, it started sounding again and it got louder. And the first thing I thought of, it sounded like a hyena. But it, it was and almost like a child moaning. It, it was so odd. And then I started thinking, oh my God, we're trying to lure him in and him for food. So I hurried up and got him in. And I have no doubt that this is what it was. I have never heard anything like this before. At this point, I'm just staying cautious. I'm getting more security lights put up. And I'm just going to be very aware of them. They know I'm here and I know that they're there. We have a a good sized park that isn't far from here. It's got a lake and everything. I heard they roam at night. Up to 30 miles they can roam. I was also told by somebody that these type of dog men, he said they were hyena 
type dogmen that live in, in the ground. They dig burrows and live there. And he said this is probably their nesting area. I have captured in some of my pictures uh, little ones also. So, yeah, it's it's been interesting these past two weeks. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. If I get more evidence, I'll sure be in touch and share what I can. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who once again stopped by tonight to hang out in the Fox Den for another episode of Midnight Lycanthropy on Star Fox Radio. If you do enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, and share it. Feed the algorithm. And until next time, I must return to my chamber. <laughs> Stay safe out there.